This build was made possible by ScaledWorld.net. If you want to get your build featured, fill out the feature link below and check out some other features on their site as well as they produce a lot of nice content from builders all around the world. In order to finish the build off, I still needed to paint a couple parts. So first of all, they were cleaned up a bit, then stuck onto some crocodile clips, and then of course primed and painted in their various different colors. The window rubbers all around on the body still needed to be painted black as well. I figured while I still had the airbrush out anyway, I'd do that with the airbrush and some matte black paint at the same time. Parts like the wheel well and some other various spaces underneath the body also need to be painted black. I wasn't going to mask off the entire body with some complicated shapes. I could just as easily take out a brush and then carefully do it like that. Other parts like the clear taillights needed to be painted in a clear red, so I did those in a couple of layers as well. If you've seen the unboxing for this build, you might have noticed that the clear parts themselves were a large sheet of vacuum formed parts. These of course still need to be cut out and trimmed. Luckily there is a piece in the kit itself provided to make it exactly to shape. So that was transferred onto that tape and then could carefully cut it out and sand it to form. Once that was all done, I could just paint the black edges around it and move on to applying a lot more parts with some glue. With this being a Ferrari and a Ferrari being a sports car, it has a lot of vents for aerodynamic purposes and also cooling. These of course were supplied with some mesh grills in the kit as well. Those were first painted black and could then carefully be applied all over the place with some super glue.
The lenses for the headlights, just as the main windshield itself, were also vacuum-formed pieces. Now, there weren't any templates supplied in the kit, so I needed to make my own. I put a piece of masking tape around it, carefully traced it with a marker, put that onto the clear part itself, and could then carefully start cutting it out and sanding it to the final shape it needed to be in order to fit in that bucket. With the lens now to shape, I could mark the edges and then put it in with some glue. On the rear caliper, I still needed to glue the e-brake piece in and also add some decals and some more details. With the details and decals applied, the disc could be glued in place and the wheel could be put on. The final piece that still needed to be added to the interior was a seat belt. This adds a small little detail, but with the car being a convertible, it does make a huge difference. A couple Ferrari logos were applied to the wheels. I also needed to add some of the indicators to the sides with some clear paints and also some of the reflectors on the rear bumper were painted on as well. With that all done, the final details needed to be added. One was a keyhole that needed to be touched up with some silver, and the other were, of course, the lug nuts on the wheels. They were painted silver to make them stand out from the main wheel color themselves. The final thing before calling this one done was to paint the mirrors on the sides in some chrome paint in order to make them reflective and not just a plain white surface. This build was made possible by ScaledWorld.net. If you want to get your build featured, fill out the feature link below and check out some other features on their site as well as they produce a lot of nice content from builders all around the world.